today, what I'm trying to do, I've got this nice big load. I've got to put it. So, I got scrap bit of metal. So I'm going to try and weld the metal together. And we're going to laugh, but for a base, over there. I got a minute. I'm gonna use an old car disc brake for the weight because it's not a heavy light. So weld that to there, it should be heavy enough. And I'm just gonna bodge like I always do and try and make a like a little stand for my um, camera. Well, the camera. We were on the camera. Did that last time. I uh, try and make a stand for my light so I can move it about, make it places. Only temporarily, which is when I um, want to, I'll make a more better, bit of decent stand. So let's get to the making. Is that a welder? This one together. Don't know. I'm not a welder. It's just two um, angles welded together. It's off an old table. I cut a table and made it smaller because it was too big. So um, I just want to tack weld the other end. I want to cut off a section because obviously I haven't got a cut section. I can use the one bit of section and it says flat and I can screw it to the light, weld the other box sections together to make the leg and then wire it to a base. And it should be good enough, I suppose. We'll just see how it goes and see how it happens.
so it's not perfect welding but let's say I'm not a welder I cut it end off there that's what I can do draw hole through there tack to light fair and me move about but I can work some out so I'll do now let's see how long I need to go from now
stress. I wired up the middle. It's not the best weld set on that wider. Um so then that'll be the lamp, probably sooner. Screw up to the lamp. I reckon it should be long enough. We'll go test it now, see how tall it is. So it's like a bit warm. So I'll be Lamp. Yeah, fit the lamp there. So I reckon that's gonna be absolutely perfect. It's gonna be spot on that well. So we'll just drill that hole in there, weld that to the base. Happy days! Enough. I ain't going anywhere. So good to know. It's just 
draw hole through here. What I might do actually, I might draw hole through here and tap thread in there. So when I put a bolt through the light, it bolts straight to that, and then I can just put another nut on this end, which is like double locked. I could have done that probably down there as well. So I might do that, I might do that, yeah. I might just drill a hole there, put a nut, drill another hole, and put a uh, tap some thread in there. So we just thread it straight to that then. It stops some twisting then. So obviously, put a cable the other end. It's going to be out of shot now, but basically, it can do that. Might even look more lower actually. Uh, so I could mine like that. Yeah, we'll try it there, and then we can always adjust it, can't we? So, because it was there, I could tap one thread down there and thread up here. Right, so let's draw some holes, do some tapping. So, as you can tell, it's a new day. Uh, the phone ran out of battery yesterday, but um, yeah, I haven't got any cameras. I've only got all I've got is my phone. So, unless I can afford one, I'll buy a new camera. I don't know, Gay Pro or Insta360, because they got a, both of them now got a decent point of view camera, and both have a 360, which is, 360 is kind of the ideal when I do my motorbike vlogs. Like out and about, as I said, you should see my last video. I showed the boots, and what I really wanted to do was put a camera on the back of the bike to get a good shot of my boots in action. So maybe down the line we'll go for a different camera. But as of the minute, all I've got is the phone. Right. So as you remember, what I did in the video, I got to recap myself because it was yesterday. Cut holes, tap them, thread them. Got a bolt which just about goes in. Like I said, I know you can get different thread types and all that, but I just guessed, to be fair. <laughs> and that one fits. So, uh, what we'll do is cut, up, cut them down to the right length, just a little bit stubbier. Uh, I pre drilled holes in this, 
which I just did off camera, but they're not big enough. So I need to draw these holes bigger, attach it to there. There we go. So let's crack on. <laughs> So I've cut the holes down. I decided not to use these ones because they're screwed and just the thread's a bit tight. I don't think I need the right right cutting tool. But um yeah, because these are bolts, they can screw in a bit easier, a bit harder. Get a bit of brute force and it goes on in. Like I say. I'm not an engineer. I bodge things. So let's screw this in, see what it looks like. Not a sponsor, but it could be. Right, so let's draw these holes. Draw these holes already. Three drills. Ow, that's sharp. Right, so. let's get one up there. Thread that off there. And next one. That's if I draw the holes in that place. Hey, if I am. Just a little bit friendly. There we go. Right. Let's get the old, uh, what do you get? Extension bar. Extension bar acquired. I don't think it's too tight because it's got um, two lugs there. There's some at the top there, but it does have this. Let's give it, um, allow it to breathe because it gets hot. That already did fun. Look at that. Upstanding. Lovely. So we can now let's put uh, this plate back on. Just hooks over. So this is um, our old like add in our old house. It's in the loft. I don't want people to take it, so I took it out of the loft. Because it's these lights are very handy. There we are, screwed them up. Right, carefully put the ball back in. Grab the plug. It's got about a meter, well, probably a three meter cable on her. It's ideal. And hey, presto! We have a freestanding light. What's that? Is the weight light weight anyway? But the weight of this. Uh... Let me get the camera. There you go. See it. Well, it's an old disc brake. It's just enough to hold it. 
So let's move the camera over there. Let's chuck this on the floor. That way. You can see the whole thing then. Right. Let's get move the camera a bit. That's better. See it? Just no disc brake. What are the two bars together? Bolted it together. Yeah, that's pretty sound light. Like I said, look look how long the cable is. So I can plug it anywhere. So if I'm a uh, yes, yeah, so if I'm either working in here, I want some better lighting for the camera. So I've got one light there, one light to uh, double one light by be sorry, let me start again. We've got a single beam here, twin beam here, and a little beam there. So I've got plenty of lights in there, but if I'm doing something in a corner or something, that's just ideal. So long as recording inside the other day, it was evening-ish. So it wasn't quite dark enough for the light to be bright enough. So I need a bit more light. So I need this light just standing up. But now I've got a stand on it. It's a bit more professional and better looking. So especially if I get a um, car or a motorbike, if I'm doing it outside and it's dark, I've got a decent light. It's just standing there. Help me record better. So what I'll do is eventually I'll take all the light off again. I'll get some paint, paint that all pretty and nice, make it look a bit half decent. Um, that's how you go about recycling old bricks. That floor light. I think just about the right height. It's a perfect height, that is. It's nice. I was gonna go taller, a lot taller. But I think if I went taller, it'd be way too. It'd be way too high. Be needed, but yeah. Apparently, disc brakes, well, discs of disc brakes, make good counterweights. So, you like the content? Give it a like. Maybe even subscribe. Like I said, we. Make things, as I said, I can use welder, grinders, bits and tools here and there. Also got my two vlog page, I've my two vlogs as well that I've already put on there. So yeah, any product reviews that I get or news are around there. As I said, I'm building the channel up, I'm building new tools, buying new tools, using new tools. So I don't know how they go on. I guess you see me weld. I mean, if you look close to my welds, they ain't perfect. But the more I weld, the more I'm learning. I had some not very good welding rods. I had cheap ones. I bought some decent welding ones. And ever since I bought the new rods, my welding is so much better. It welds a lot better. So I think having more equipment works as well. So we'll just upgrade the equipment. Um, see how we go. So I'm currently in half of a job and doing some woodwork stuff. So. Maybe that might come up next. We don't know. As I said, this channel is all about random stuff. So you never know what you're going to get next. So yeah. So, bit of a finished material at the end of the video. I wasn't quite happy. So, what I've done is... I sort out the wire. What I've done was uh, get an old exhaust uh, like a u-clamp you get cut it enough what are two logs on and now it looks neat and tidy so yeah bit of bonus material i'm quite happy about now it looks more professional time i paint it it's gonna look good i like it 